it going guys it's Root Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about the Redmi Note 3 Pro we're going to show you guys how to unlock the bootloader now there's a couple things you're going to want to point out about this process and that are kind of critical I'm on the Snapdragon Qualcomm version of the Redmi Note Pro and I'm going to show you this so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to come in here and you're going to want to downgrade or just flash the developer version of the firmware so it should say something, uh, see Re MIUI 7 Global Beta, it should say Beta under the version there. If yours doesn't say Beta, then you need to get the developer version flashed over. Now I just did a video on how to do that, so um, I'll link you to that in the description down below, maybe a little note up in the top. Um, definitely watch that video and just show you very simply how to update or down, even downgrade, I think you're downgrading technically to do this to the developer version, which is the beta version, okay? Very, very critically important. Besides that, the other thing that's really important is to go ahead into your MIUI or MI account and make sure you have an account set up and the device activated on that account. So here's my account. You can set it all up here and make sure you've got it all set up here. Make sure you write down your number right there. That's really important as you um, log into it on the computer to get permission to unlock your bootloader through MIUI's site. Um, the other thing I note is getting permission took about four or five days. So anywhere from two to ten days to get permission to unlock your bootloader. Um, I just told them I was a developer and I want to work on developing apps and whatever, so they let me do it. So it'll ask for a reason why you want to unlock the bootloader. But that's really it. So very, very simple to do and very easy to, to, to work with, so no big deal. Um, but make sure you have your account set up on your phone and it's all logged in and you have your beta or developer version of the ROM installed. Besides that, you also want to make sure you come in here and you turn on MIUI. Just keep tapping it until you say you're a developer. Come up to additional settings and you should have developer options. Make sure OEM unlock is checked and USB debugging is checked and turned on. There we go and then you should be good to go to unlock your bootloader. Let's go over to my computer and show you the rest of the steps. All right guys, how's it going? So here we are on the computer. So the first thing you have to do when you set up this account is you have to go ahead and you have to apply unlock for unlocking permissions. So really you wanna do is go ahead and do this. Um, you, you basically hit unlock now and it walks you through downloading the unlock tool, um, getting permissions, logging in. So I'll, I'll just show you. So that downloads the tool down here. Um, and you go ahead and apply for permissions to do that. Um, but if you don't have permissions, it basically won't work. And to get permission, it took me about, oh shoot, I don't know. Uh, I think it was like four days for them to get back and actually approve me to unlock my device. So that just being said it is what it is um, the other thing you're gonna want to read through because this thread is amazing and very 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 helpful um, is this thread and I'll link you to it um, in the video description down below but definitely read through this and there might be things that I'm gonna kinda skip through but this is very very detailed and you should read the whole thing um, I'll give you a couple different links in the video description down below the video so definitely check those all out alright so we're really gonna skip through that. I've got my account set up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to the unlock tool. So let's see where mine is. It should look, it should be this right here, MI flash unlock. So this is what you get downloaded. You extract it into a file and it looks like this. And basically you run this right here, all right? So from here you just hit agree to the unlock terms. Here is where you're gonna put in that ID from your phone and your password. So I'm going to go ahead and do that really quickly and put in my password, hit sign in. So this does take a second um, and see it's checking your account has permissions. So right there that's what I was talking about. If your account does not have permissions you will not be able to unlock your device. So if it doesn't come back correctly there you got to wait for that permissions from from MIUI. Alright, so what it tells me to do from here is to boot into fast boot mode. And the way you do that is you power off your device, power off, 
And then what we do is we go ahead and we hold volume down and power. And it just kind of hold them for a little bit. And what should happen is you should see that. That is fast boot mode or bootloader mode or whatever you want to call it. So we're going to then plug in our USB cable to our computer like so. And from here, we should be able to recognize it on the computer. Now, um, one thing I want to point out, you might have to have some drivers installed at this point. Um, I'll link to some drivers in the description as well for this device, so you'll have all that. So from here, we're just going to try the unlock, see what happens. So we're going to click unlock, and it's going to try to go through the official process. All right, so as you guys can see, um, just from here, it's just a quick little reboot, and that will go ahead and finish up the unlock process because it says unlock is successful, and we're still in fast boot over here on the device, so we're just going to reboot the phone, and that should finish it up. It's going to go ahead and reboot right there. Um, yeah, all looking good. Now, I'm surprised it doesn't tell me anything here. I think I can just close this out, and we should be done on the computer. So we're just going to wait for the device to fully boot back up. First boot up could take, well, could take a while. It probably wiped the device. Um, so it might take anywhere from, eh, I don't know. I'm going to say up to 10 minutes for this to process. Whoa, that was really quick. So the bootloader should be unlocked, and we booted back up like lightning fast. Didn't even wipe the device out. That is awesome. Now, I'm curious. I think this will work, but let's try it. Go into security, now that we have an unlocked bootloader, go to permissions. And does it do it? No, it doesn't look like it. Sometimes you can do things here, but it's okay. It's okay. We should have an unlocked bootloader. Um, I'm going to work on trying to figure out how to get root access. It should be just flashing twerp and flashing super So I'll work on those things, but at least we have the bootloader unlocked and, and in a state that we can now flash custom firmware and recovery images to it. So I'm going to wrap it up here for the unlocked bootloader video, but stay tuned for the other videos on how to get twerp recovery installed, root access, and so on on your device. Stay tuned for those videos, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.